welcome to my Canva portrait cartoon photo editing tutorial. If you'd like to follow along, I will leave my link down below. You will need Canva Pro in case you want to use the background remover, which is a very helpful feature. Nevertheless, let's begin. So this is the portrait that I'm going to be using. I found this on Unsplash, which is a royalty free website. What we want to do first is click on the image and then of course, edit image. If we scroll down, we're going to be combining some tutorials I've done recently with one of them is going to be Prisma. So if Prisma is not here, if you scroll down, and you don't see it, you might be using a different version. There's like a newer and an older version of like scrolling through. So try switching versions. If you don't see it, eventually there might be an icon there in case you haven't used it. But once you find it, let's click on see all. So what you can do here is go through and pick which one is going to be the best for you. Ultimately, I think it really depends on the photo. Uh, I've done this one before and I think wind looks the best, but I'll go through very quickly. So with this one here, okay, like maybe too much, right? Okay. I mean, it's up to you. It's, it's really an opinionated thing. How much cartoon I think, like I said, I think wind looks the best. Let's go through with snowfall. We have passion fruit. That one's not too bad, right? Storm. <clears throat> Kick scooter. Lizard. And I'm not going to go through the rest. I think I like wind the best. Passion fruit is probably like the next one. It really depends on the picture overall. Nevertheless, let's now click on apply. And since we're in the same screen, what we want to do is scroll up, not all the way and just go to background remover. So let's click on that. And of course, it's going to remove the background for us. Perfect. And just like that, it has removed the background. Let's click on apply. Now what we want to do is create or choose a nice background. So let's not not click on the picture, but the actual background right here and go to the background color section. Uh, we can choose some solid colors. I like the gradients, you know, kind of like seeing what colors might match or go with it, depending on like what your brand is or what color, you know, you're looking to get. Let's go with this one here. I think that looks pretty good. I'm just going to move this down to the bottom. And what we want to do for now is just save this as an image so that we can move it into a frame. So let's go to share. Let's go to download. And all we need to do is simply click on download because we want to download the entire thing here so we can later move it. In fact, we probably make this a little bit bigger. I'm not sure how big the photo was before. Like usually the bigger the photo, the bigger you can make it. But I think that looks pretty good. Let's do share once again, download. And of course, let's just save it. Okay, so now that I saved that, what I want to do is just upload that file and it will appear right here. Let's do that very quickly. Okay, so there it is. So what I want to do is just delete the background, delete the image. We can start fresh there. So first, let's go to elements. And in case you don't see it, what you can do is look for frames. Okay, I already have it there. So let's click on frames and we can do see all. This is where we can add like the portrait aspect to it, where we crop it. I think a circle is going to look fine. Let's add that in there. Let's go back to our uploads. And of course, we can drag it all the way in here. I just had to recenter some things. And nevertheless, what we want to do is take our photo and drag it right into here. OK, what we can also do is click on it and then do edit or excuse me, crop. And from here, we can make it a little bit bigger too. move it up. I think something like maybe a little bit smaller. Actually, a bigger is probably better here. A little bit more. Just got to play around with it. And I think that looks pretty good. Let's do done. And just like that, there is our Canva portrait. A little cartoonized uh, looks great. Obviously, you can choose the colors in the background. That's going to be up to you. But that's pretty much going to be the tutorial about how you can do that. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you want to test out Canva, I will also have my link down below in the description as well. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.